Hey, how are you today? How are you today? I'm Corporal Shrad at the Greer Police Department. How are you? Okay. Is there any reason why you're videotaping? I'm just curious. You're not in any kind of trouble. There's nothing here other than we got called and told that you were walking around the parking lot. So, any particular reason for it? No, you're not going to answer. So we're just going to have a stare off because I'm recording you and you're recording me. Is that what we're going to do? Do you have your ID on you? Do I do anything wrong? Well, you're recording a suspicious activity, which puts this into a category of suspicious activity, which means under Terry versus Ohio, I can detain you until I can determine or deny that there's any Terry criminal activity Terry going on. I would. There, there's already a call on it, so yes, so it would. Is that, is that a felony or misdemeanor? That's a misdemeanor. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And I can't believe you just sat here and lied. Yep. Go ahead and give me your ID for uh, me, please. You to the scene? I am a supervisor. I need another one. Okay. I need a lieutenant or somebody else. Okay. 301 315. He's requesting a supervisor above me. Actually, actually, I, I, I'm going to do this type of thing. Okay. Yeah. I'm just curious. I mean, oh, if yeah, you're not yeah. doing any criminal activity, then there's nothing to worry about. So why are you asking my ID? Because you're not answering me. And when you're not answering me, how do I know you're not filming this parking lot to come shoot it up? It's the Fifth Amendment, right? So I can check on that if it's suspicious. And the part of that checking is to identify you. So if I can get your ID. A felony or misdemeanor? Again. Name, badge number? Sergeant Forrester, 301. How are you doing? Good. How can I help you? Well, he contacted me. He wants my ID for no reason. So I need a supervisor to let him know that, you know, without any crime being committed, I don't have to review my ID. Well, he actually got a call on you. Well, a, what, what crime have I committed? Well, so anytime somebody calls in and reports a suspicious activity, it's a big this is a failure of a misdemeanor. Uh, it's a new one, but he asked oh, me. Right. Okay, thank you. So he said it was a misdemeanor. So now we have a conflict on which one it is. We don't have a conflict at all. We have a conflict with where you're acting, sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Taping our parking lot in today's whoa. day and age. That's fine. Whoa. That's fine. You ain't got to whoa nothing. Whoa. Well, what's your name and badge number? Uh, my badge number is 201. It's whoa. Lieutenant Hofer. Whoa. H-O-L-C-O-M-B-E. Now, whoa. Let me have an ID. This, this is the intimidation factor. Yeah, let right me here. have an ID, please. What an ID. An ID. An ID. You're under Terry versus Ohio. You've you got to give him your ID. To, uh, Interfering with police. Officer, I ask you for an ID. What kind of you got an ID? What have you got an ID? Videotaping our parking lot and walking around the police department. Yes, sir. Right now, in the day and age that we're dealing with, Yes, sir. It is a crime to what sit there. What crime have I committed to me? Anytime there's a suspicious oh, person is that's that going to jail, right? it's a you see whoa, ID. Whoa. You, got, you got the count of three whoa. or you're going to jail. You got to see. I got one hand on the camera. One. Whoa. Two. Don't show three. me. You're under yeah. arrest. Whoa. You're now under arrest. Sir, you got your ID on you? Sir, you got your ID on you? Uh, I like it. it's not my stupid name and not stupid to anybody, so I get a lawyer present to you. Asking for ID that's is not actually, right. uh, not that's, a, that's a right to stay in jail. That's a right to stay in jail because if we don't have an ID and name with everything, then you stay in jail until we figure out who you are. So you can tell us who you are, or you can stay in jail. What, what kind of Huh? You were interfering you? with the police. What crime did I commit? Interfering with I the police. I wasn't interfering. Yes, you were. You guys came and approached me. Yes, sir. And I asked you for an ID. And what crime have I committed? Interfering with the police. What crime? Interfering with the police. What crime? For you suspect for interfering? Listen to me. Listen to me, because I, I know you. you're not deaf. I don't got to listen to you. Interfering with no, the police. I was not. Yes, you were. No, I was not. Come on. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. And you know I wasn't. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm not worried about it. I do this all the time. That's fine. I've been in South Carolina, North Carolina, and Georgia doing this. Well, guess what? You know my property's supposed to stay with me. Go ahead, have you know seat. my property's supposed to stay with me. You Go know ahead, that, get right? The car. All right. So you got on body camera, Lieutenant uh, Holcomb does not want to bring my property seat. with me. Oh, now he wants to bring it. There you go. Now he knows he's recording. I heard you say so.
we got a call um, that he was walking through filming the Century Insurance parking lot and then filming our parking lot. I guess he filmed Hemrick when he drove by, so I got out, I started talking to him. I just wouldn't answer me at all. Just, what's your name, badge number? So, and I said, you're not doing anything wrong at this point if you're just filming, but, you know, we got a call on you, it's suspicious activity. This is what's your reason for doing it? He wouldn't answer me. What crime have I committed? Because I said, okay, well now. And I told him, I said, they're Terry versus Ohio, now you're being suspicious, so I can detain you and I need to see your ID. What crime have I committed? He doesn't have any ID on him. No wallet or nothing. So uh, it's probably going to be that guy from Fowler Brothers that Chrome got out with that night. Uh, I'll look it up on the Intel side and see. That's probably what it's going to be. Because he brought up here with the other night. No, I'm the one that brought it up. Yeah. 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 Why well, was good. At that point, we moved from yeah, friendly conversation. He probably doesn't have it. Um, he probably normally wouldn't worry about it. Then you're doing a private facility as well. Alright. What's that? If you want to put me on it, that's fine. Okay. Figure out who he is. Let's just do the citation or whatever. Okay. Uh, you want me to jail him, or you want me to cut him? Huh? You want me to jail him, or do you want me to? Uh, if we uh, figure out who he is and know whatever, I don't care. Okay. I don't care. We're still on vaccine side. Okay. Um, I think what I'll do too is so, LT. LT. I think what I'll do too is because I don't know what's on that cell phone or what he's recording. Okay. I, th I think that cell phone should be held as evidence until we figure out what might be on it. Well, that may be a good idea. I mean, he, who knows what he's been filming I think or why. That's a good idea. And get a, get a, uh, and get a, uh, you know, talk with the uh, detective, see if we get a search warrant for it to download everything on it. Okay. I'm sorry. I've got your phone. Six. What adult blackmail? Ten five from this location. Six hundred. Yep. Body camera was on. I won't turn it off till we're inside the jail and those cameras are on. That'll just protect both of us, right? Interfering with police. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. Not identifying yourself when you're when you're acting suspicious under Terry versus Ohio. If there's a reasonable suspicion that a crime is being has been or might be committed, you can be detained and placed in investigative detention. Once you're placed in investigative detention, you have to identify yourself. If you don't, you can be charged with interfering with police. I'll, when we get inside, I'll explain it. The cage makes it hard. Well, it's just going to depend on whether or not you ID yourself, because you didn't have any on you. So once we figure out who you are, we'll issue a citation. If I just issue a citation for interfering, you don't even have to see a judge. If you don't want to identify yourself, then we'll have to make you see a judge. So that's going to be pretty much up to you on how that happens. Okay. And I apologize when you asked me what kind of crime it is. I was thinking interfering in my head and not what you were asking, so, which is a misdemeanor. Not identifying yourself is interfering. <laughs> because you didn't identify yourself when you asked for an ID when you're under investigation. For suspicious activity. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to have a crime for Terry is being has been or might be so you fall under might be headquarters 31510 yeah. you know what it ultimately boils down to is what an attorney and what a judge think right I've got your phone
might step out for me. So what's your last name? So you're not going to tell us your name, you're still going to play that game? No, I'll tell you my name and everything. Okay. If I need you guys to actually bring these laws to me so we can actually, so I can actually tell you you guys are correct. Like I say, I don't have to bring you anything right now until Discovery is met. Well, like I say, like I, I do this so. all the time, you know. Okay, that's great. I, I had an encounter with Greenville County, Spartanburg, Weasley, and, and they all got the spark because they know, they know the rules. You know, Chambers, I would say, you have to have a reasonable ticket. Is being has been or maybe? Well, yes. Might, might well look it up before you go. Before you do, I'll just know. And kick it. Go ahead and face that counter. There you go. I did not turn it off. You don't want to turn it off? Not right now, no. Because there may not, yeah, it's still on, so and so are the cameras in here. You want to delete my footage? Is that what it is? No, I don't want to delete the footage. Is the camera still on? Yes, I the camera's on, not going to delete the footage. He did not want to turn my phone there's a camera there, there's a camera there, there's you're all good. Okay, are you going to give us your name and everything now? Where's Terry versus Ohio at? I already explained Terry versus Ohio Where's to you. Ohio at? I already explained it to you. Hey, find me a jail cell. Okay, then we'll find you a jail cell. Book him in under John Doe. He doesn't want to give any information. He'll just stay with us until we can fingerprint him and get his stuff back from the FBI, which could take weeks. It's okay. Not if you don't identify yourself, because we got to wait to find out who you are. How do I know you're not a convicted murderer with a or somebody with a warrant on him? I'm going to turn my body camera on. I'm going to leave it on. I'm not going to turn it off yet. <sighs> See what they want to do with... You going to get him rolled in the video? I'm going to see if CID wants us to keep his phone because God knows what he's filming and for why. Okay, I got a gentleman in our jail facility. I don't know if you heard all the drama going on in the parking lot. Um, long story short, we got a call that he was videotaping in the insurance lot next door and then the PD lot. And then when um, Hemrick drove by him, he was filming Hemrick. I was asked to get out with him. I got out with him, approached, told him, you know, he asked me for my damn badge number, told him who I was. He refused to identify himself. Then he asked for a supervisor because he didn't believe we had Terry. So Forrester came over and Holcomb came over and then he still refused to identify himself. So Holcomb said to arrest him for interfering. Um, he's, we were curious, should we hold on to the cell phone and try to get a search warrant since he's out here filming God knows what. I don't know if he's filming to come blow up our building, shoot us. We got a church next door. We got kids next door. You know, God only knows why he's... 
I have no idea. I have no idea. He's a black male with dreads. He won't identify himself. Nope. He's got nothing to say, and he doesn't believe we have Terry Ohio because he doesn't think that maybe committing a crime or in the future type thing doesn't apply, in his opinion. Well, I got him on interfering, but, you know, as far as the phone goes, God knows what he's filmed. Okay. Yep, bye. He said he's gonna call me back in a minute. Did he really? He won't identify himself at all. No. So. Still. And I told him. I said, you know. Take him and roll with his he, we can roll him here, see if he's ever been here. You know, I told him. I said, you know, if you don't want to tell us who you are, then I'll have to jail you on your ticket, and then you'll have to wait until you see a judge. I said, but you're not gonna go anywhere until we can figure out who you are. So I said, if you just tell me who you are, I'll write you a ticket. You'd be out the door. I saw him, he was over in the corner um, of the parking lot back here where he would exit out. Because For Forrester is the first one that told me about him. And he flagged Hemrick down because he didn't see me there. So he couldn't find anything um, and He told Hemrick. Well, then he told me about it, and that's right at the same time Jason called me from dispatch. Um, so I went over and I started talking to him. And I said, right now you're not doing anything wrong, but, you know, why are you filming? I want your name, badge number, so I told him. I said, no, why, why are you out here filming? He wouldn't answer, and I said, so what are you doing? Basically just said to him, why are we just going to sit here and record each other? And he wanted a supervisor because he didn't believe I had Terry. I'm still hot, just so everybody in the room knows. I'm sorry, what was the name? Yes, sir. I can't get you out on the answer because nobody will answer the phone. Um, <laughs> well, we found we found a bank card on him, so we were able to get a name on him, um, and he's in the system. Greenville City. Deontay Valentine. They're looking at everything. I don't think there's any active warrants on them right now. Yep. Yeah, he told me that he's done this with Greenville County, you know, down that way, easily in other places, and never ran into a problem, you know. And we got the call. Um, he was standing in our parking lot at the back corner of the fire department parking lot, almost over towards where the road is, where the church is. Yeah. 
uh, standing there filming, and then when uh, Hemrick drove by him, he just followed Hemrick's car, and then you know, I got the radio call, so I stepped out with him, and he was filming me. Um, he wouldn't wouldn't give me any information about himself or why he was there filming. Um, so didn't think he needed to identify himself because you know he didn't believe that we had Terry. Artiburn. Um, I mean, it's a public area. Mm-hmm. You walk through there and do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Right. It's not a restricted area. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, all we've got... All we've got is, is you know, failure to identify, so he interfered, you know, because when we were asking him for ID, he wouldn't give it to us. He just kept saying, what crime have I committed? And I told him, you know, I explained to him, Terry versus Ohio, it's suspicious activity because you're not talking to me, so that to me is suspicious. You're here filming a police department parking lot. I don't know why, you know, and then he refused, and then he refused to identify himself to Lieutenant Holcomb. So ultimately Holcomb said, that's it, you're under arrest, charge him with interfering, so... Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the, the, the concerns that we have is, you know, you've got a police department, a fire department, you got a church right across the street, you got an insurance company, and then you got kids that play in that park. So I don't know what he's... Yeah, so I don't, I don't know what his intentions are, you know. No. The only reason we got his name is because they found a bank card on him, so we were able to look him up that way. This will be great. I'll be on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. Carter Burns working on it. So Carter Burns working on it. All right. I'm gonna turn my body camera off since he's in the jail.